Donald Trump's proposal to eliminate taxes on overtime pay embodies a core conservative principle, rewarding hard work, promoting economic independence, and limiting government interference in personal finances. It strikes a chord with those who emphasize self-reliance and personal responsibility, as this policy directly benefits workers who go the extra mile. The notion of keeping more of one's own money resonates with the idea that individuals deserve full compensation for their efforts without excessive government deductions. I'm also announcing that as part of our additional tax cuts, we will end all taxes on overtime. You know what that means? Think of that. Think of that. That gives people more of an incentive to work. It gives the companies a lot. It's a lot easier to get the people. And, you know, I went to some economists, great ones, and I said, what do you think? They said, it would be unbelievable. You'll get a whole new workforce by doing the no taxes on overtime. The people who work overtime are among the hardest working citizens in our country. And for too long, no one in Washington has been looking out for them. Those are the people they really work. They're police officers, nurses, factory workers, construction workers, truck drivers, and machine operators. It's time for the working man and woman to finally catch a break, and that's what we're doing because this is a good one. And I think it's going to be great for the country. So that's why we will be saying that if you're an overtime worker when you're past 40 hours a week, think of that, your overtime hours will be tax-free. Okay, good. You're going to have a call. With statements like, I'm for anything that goes to the American worker to keep more of his her own money. The public response reflects a conservative mindset that values personal income and workers' rights over government control. Trump's nod to occupations such as police officers, nurses, factory workers, and truck drivers acknowledges the essential contributions of those often regarded as the backbone of society. From this perspective, Taxing these workers' extra effort seems more like a penalty than fair compensation. Additionally, the remark, How long before copycat Kamala jumps on this? hints at conservative skepticism toward politicians who might adopt similar policies, not out of genuine concern for workers, but as a strategic move to gain support. This view reflects a distrust of opportunistic policy decisions that fail to address the deeper issue of reducing individual financial burdens imposed by the government.